Hi guys, welcome to Football Mad Cox and we're back with Premier League predictions. The Premier League is back. It's week been five. Week five, five. yeah. It's been, it's been two weeks. Uh, the, obviously, Premier League was off last week because of the international break. So, obviously, we're back with Obviously, two weeks ago, there were some mad scorelines. Yes, yeah, including... Of Manchester United it. getting beat 6-1 by Tottenham and Aston Villa being Liverpool 7-2. Wow. Um, not seen that one before. No, nah, no. Nah. So obviously Liverpool, obviously we're gonna get to Liverpool first. Obviously Merseyside derby, probably the. There's, most... there's, a, there's a few. There's about two derbies this week, isn't there? No? Uh, we have Everton Liverpool. We have. I can't remember. Brighton South uh, Brighton. No, South Palace. Palace. Is it? Is it Brighton Palace? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Leicester City, oh, Aston Tottenham. Villa. We're Tottenham West Ham as well. Right? Leicester City, Aston Villa is a derby. Yeah, so there's about four derbies this week. Yeah, right? so it's so a big week for derbies. Obviously, the most. I, I'm looking forward to seventh Liverpool game. Yeah. Obviously, I'm, I'm a bit worried that... Um, I, I'm a bit nervous for this match. I'm, I feel um, like Everton could potentially beat Liverpool for the first time in ten years. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This could be this could go very badly wrong for Liverpool uh, in a Merseyside derby for a long time. Yeah, but you know, let's but, get to it. I think Everton obviously won every single game so far, top of the table. Yeah. They they had points. the best. They've had the best form of coming back. In my I think, opinion. in my opinion, Everton and Aston Villa have been the best yeah, side because so they far. they've got a hundred percent so far this yeah. season. But um, in my opinion, I'm going to go with Everton one, Liverpool one. Oh, a draw! I'm going to go one. I'm going to go well, safe. Obviously, Thiago's back, Mane's back to Liverpool. Henderson. So Henderson's Henderson back. back. So it could be an interesting, it could be a complete the thing is, performance. They have Adrian in goal. <laughs> I do not like Adrian. He's not a good keeper, the in thing, my opinion. Is, Adrian is a good goalkeeper, but it just didn't happen for him the other week. He, obviously, he's the first bad. goal was his fault. He's bad. But Ashton Villa scored three deflected goals. Like, no keeper's going to say. We are, so. we are going to concede a few goals to, today. I'm going Everton 2, Liverpool 1. <laughs> I'm going for an Everton win. I'm sorry. I think Liverpool are going to lose again. No. I, I just... I feel like they've started really, really dodgy this season. They haven't, they haven't had the best of yeah, starts. Even though they've picked up three big wins, though, against very yeah. three good sides. So yeah. Give, but, yeah. Obviously, Chelsea was an unbelievable performance. But Aston, Aston, was, Aston, Aston was Villa. Brilliant. Aston Villa. Yeah. Seven, we, we had, we had, three, seven we had about four injuries, though, so that's an excuse. So. Mm. Anyway, moving on to... But so anyway, biggest game of the yeah. weekend by far, that Everton. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, actually. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be, obviously, both sides have not been... So close to each other for so long. Like yeah. Everton have finally maybe starting to oh, rival Liverpool. Oh, will we see another nil nil draw? Oh yeah, it's been nil nil for the last three seasons. So yeah, <laughs> put it past. I can't see it being a nil nil this season. Can you not? No, not 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 with the way Liverpool are defending at the moment. No. no. But uh, uh, anyway, Chelsea Southampton. Chelsea versus this is an Southampton. One. Actually, last time Southampton went to Stamford, they won two 0 on Boxing Day last year. How did they? Um, yeah, two 0 uh, But obviously, a lot of change at Chelsea. There's a lot yeah. of. In, um, boost injury boost for Chelsea. Obviously, uh, I'm going. I'm going to go kind of similar to last season uh, at Stamford Bridge between these two, but it's going to be the other way around. I'm going Chelsea two, Southampton nil. Uh, I, I agree with you there. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go Chelsea two, Southampton nil. Yeah. Anyway, moving on, Man City Arsenal, another big game. Manchester Man City's City Arsenal. season's wow. been awful. Let's get this right. Weird season so far. Liverpool have got ma uh, n uh, zero goal difference. Man City have got minus one goal difference. Yeah. Man City need to start scoring goals. Yeah. Um, Obviously, they've only lost one. They've only won one game, and that was to Wolves. They lost. 5-2 to, to Leicester. Leicester, but obviously drew and one with Leeds. They but drew with Leeds. If I'm honest with you, Leeds is a hard place to go. Yeah. A draw there, to be honest. Might not be bad, but this could be a hard game for uh, Man City. Yeah. Arsenal have been unbelievable for like, to be this honest, season, Arsenal. To be honest, I kind of want City to win this because Arsenal, Arsenal had a great start and they're... they're they, they, they won't keep that up, though. I want them to yeah, win. No. A draw will be like, Arsenal. Draw, draw. A lose. I, I don't care. What are you going for? I'm going to go with Manchester City 3, Arsenal 1. I'm going Manchester City 2, Arsenal 1. So 2-1. Yeah, similar. So Newcastle, Man United, obviously Man United. The game. This could be the worst start since 19-something. For Manchester United, obviously, yeah, they've not already lost two games, haven't they? And drawn yeah. one, or won one, sorry. They won one against Brighton. And lost two. Well, they should have drawn two, really. I'm not being funny, but Man United could have lost 5-0 in like all three games. Yeah. It's, seriously, they're, they've been... They're not playing goals. To be fair, I think Sheffield United have been playing better than them. And that's yeah. like... Fulham, maybe. Even uh, Fulham, you know. So for this, I am going Newcastle. It's going to be a hard 
game for United is Stamford Bridge, not Stamford Bridge, St James's, St. James's Park. Park is a hard place to go. No fans though, so. No fans, yeah, exactly. But Home fans is out the window at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I'm going Newcastle 2, Manchester United 1. Oh, <laughs> Newcastle win. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm, I'm, know, I'm risking it. I'm going for it. You know, I think it's going to be battering. I think it's going to be Newcastle 3, Manchester United 0. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, Ben, you're going a bit too far there. Eh? Ollie will be out by Christmas, I'm telling you. Oh, well, okay, so we have a relegation <laughs> scrap. Sheffield yeah, United yeah. versus Fulham. Um, and apart, this is on box office. Like, why would you want to pay 15 quid to watch Sheffield United Fulham? It's you a relegation can, scrap. You, you can buy that. Why would you put that 15 you can, quid? Yeah, I'm not paying 15 quid. To right. Hang on. So, so one, who do you think is going to win this game? It's an interesting one, though. I think, I think Sheffield United will just nick it. You think? Just. I think it'll finish. It'd be close. I think it'll be Sheffield United 1, Fulham 0. I think Sheffield just nick it. I am going Sheffield United 0. Fulham nil. Nil nil. Yeah, you know that's a good shout. That's a good I'm shout. going nil nil. Yeah, yeah. So moving on to Crystal Palace versus Brighton derby, obviously. This, oh, the derby. Um, oh boy, this is a big one because the both teams have had brilliant starts. Well, Crystal they? Palace have anyway. But so Brighton. Brighton have. Yeah, they're all right. Mm, it's gonna be close. It's at Palace. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go the same. I'm Crystal, Crystal Palace, Palace 1, Brighton 1. I'm going Crystal Palace 1, Brighton 1 as well. I just can't... I can just... Sitting I on see, the fence. I can see this be a draw. Maybe if it goes to Brighton Stadium, I think Brighton could win. Uh, but I feel like this is going to be a draw. So, so yeah. moving on to Tottenham. The London Star. Derby, Tottenham obviously, versus West Ham. We're going to see... This is a big game. Obviously, Gareth Bale could be playing... Start, starting his first Tottenham game... <laughs> Yeah, for, since his move from Real Madrid, that will be uh, this, one to look at. This for. is a big game. And I'll tell you why. These two teams are in amazing form right now. I, 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 I am. In, I am a shock. I'm shocked how good West Ham are doing right now. Uh, I thought they would start really low. I thought they'd be like in twentieth place. Well, they did start pretty badly though. Yeah, they did. But then Obviously, they beat Wolves four 0 and then they only went to go and beat Uber, Leicester. Leicester three 0 I think it was King it Power as well. Yeah, man. bloody hell. Um, but I just think Tottenham were just too good against Man United. Yeah. I, I I didn't predict. It. I thought Tottenham would win, but I didn't think they'd beat them six one. No. But then again, who who predicts who predicts? I don't think I've ever predicted a six one result before. No, to be honest, I've never. I think I predicted like a five 0 but not a six one. Um, but yeah, who are you going for for this? I think Tottenham. Tottenham. Yeah. I think Tottenham. I think Gareth Bale on the team as well. Tottenham are looking good. They've got a good squad. Looking the strength they did in the summer. They're looking yeah. good. They spent money. They obviously, they've got obviously Gareth Bale. Um, you know they've got Matt Dewey. They've signed some good players and yeah. um, they've done business. So I think Tottenham have a good season, fairly good season, and I think they'll win this game. I'm going to go Tottenham three, West Ham one. Right. I I, do you know what? I might go with that as well. I might. I I, I can see that. I'm with, I'm with you there. I think, uh, yeah, Tottenham 3, West Ham 1 for me as well. So, you know, moving on. This is going to be an unreal this game This is as a well. big game. Aston, Leicester, Leicester, Aston Villa. This Leicester is going to be Aston unreal. <laughs> Both sides started Leicester, well, Leicester. to be honest. How can you beat Manchester City 5-2 at the Etihad, then to lose the next week to West Ham 3-0? What is going on there, Leicester? Yeah, this is going to be a tight game. I don't know where this, how this is going to end it, because like, this is... I, I don't know if I can say Aston Villa winning this game because I want them to win this game. Aston Villa. I do. I, I hope Aston Villa do well. I don't know why. Cause I, I, at the moment, Aston Villa are in a the title The way race. they're playing. Aston Villa are in a title they, race. The way, the way they are playing right now, if they play like that the whole season, they're getting Champions League football. And nah. nah, if the way they play, if they play like this the whole season, they're going to get Champions League football, aren't they? Nah, I, I don't know. If, I know Aston Villa were good against Liverpool, but I think Liverpool's just made them look like Barcelona. You've got to admit, yeah, like, but Aston Villa are a good side. Do not get me wrong, they did very good business in the summer. Obviously, at Watkins, what sign, you seem to be a good signing. And obviously, they've got signed, a hat trick, didn't you? Yeah, week. yeah, they've signed a few other players as well. But obviously, um, what's called him, Ross Barkley, got on three from Chelsea. That was an unreal signing. Obviously, he was a big, big, uh, big plus for Aston Villa yeah, when he played against Liverpool. He added something in that midfield. But I don't know, because Aston Villa have been. Pretty good. 
I know, I know they played on really, they did well against Liverpool, but I think Liverpool made them right, look so very good. Who, who are you, know? you going for? I don't, I don't know because I'm going to sell the fence one one. One one. I've got to go. I, I can't. I can't. Call, I don't think Aston Villa win that game. Oh, this, this is hard. This is the hardest game to predict this weekend. I think this it is. is. This is a uh, oh god. Yeah, Leicester. If it was Aston Villa, you I'm know what? Go. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of agree with you, but I'm gonna go a different prediction. I'm going Leicester City two, Aston Villa two. I'm going. I Fair think enough. two two draw. Yeah, yeah. I think there would be four goals in this yeah. game, and yeah. Moving on to Monday Night Football, and oh, just another one: West Brom versus a Burnley. relegation Pe scrap on a uh, box office again. Like, why would you want to pay <laughs> West? <laughs> Why would you want to pay 15 quid to watch West Brom versus Burnley? I feel like... like I wouldn't even pay for the pin... Yeah. The, the, this is an interesting one. The reason I'm, why... I'm not being funny. I wouldn't even pay 15 quid to watch Bayern Munich versus Barcelona. So I'm not going to pay 15 quid to watch West Brom Burnley, am I? No, right. So, <laughs> so this one is an interesting one. The reason why is because it's a relegation scrap, isn't it? Yeah. And, and that's why it's interesting. So... I mean, both sides are really bad at the moment. Yeah, but I feel like I'm gonna surprise you. Well, so where Burnley right now? I don't know. Let's but... see. So they are 18th. West Brom is 17th. So this is a relic. Yeah, Actually, West like Brom said, got it's one a relegation point. scrap. So look at my United in 16. Yeah, <laughs> uh, because they drew to Chelsea, didn't they? Three three. What was it? Well, to be honest, what's a great don't result? Don't get me wrong, a good result, but when you're three and up against the size, you, you think you, you'll be disappointed you haven't won the game. So, really, West Brom should have three points, really. But, yeah. Yeah, obviously but in the not, end, the door. But, but for this, I think West, I think West Brom, Brom will win. Yeah, I think they will. Yeah, I'm think going West Brom 1, Burnley 0. I agree. 1 0. Yeah. And Leeds won. This is a good this game. This is a big game. Yeah, you know, this is like. Who's going to win this game? Like, both sides are massive clubs. They both started well, fairly decent. Well, one Well, actually, Wolves. One hasn't. One of them they, hasn't. And that is Wolves. These Wolves, have, yeah. they did have a good start at the beginning of the season. They beat Sheffield 2-0. And then they got absolutely smashed to City 3-1. And then they got absolutely dominated by West Ham 4-0. And then they beat Fulham 1-0. I feel like Wolves need to sort something out here. Because being Fulham 1-0... Is that it? Fulham? 1-0? Hmm, there's something going on with Wolves. And I feel like Leeds, think, Leeds will win, win today. I think to, to Monday. Monday. Sorry, a few yeah. days. I'm glad few... we're not on Monday. I don't want to yeah, be on Monday. I don't want to be on <laughs> Monday. Um, but uh, Leeds is going to win this game. The, the way Leeds have started this season is amazing. One of the best teams at the start. Um, I'd say Leeds are going to win. Uh, Leeds United 2 Wolves nil. I agree. You agree as well. No leads. Another one. Another one we agree on. <laughs> I just think this week of it's good. It's good games of football. Big, but big games. Uh, can I just say something like this box office thing is a load of rubbish. Like, why would you want to pay fifteen quid to watch like twentieth versus nineteenth? You're not going to pay fifteen quid. Fifteen quid. You. I wouldn't even pay that to watch Bayern Munich Barcelona. I'm sorry. Like, like that doesn't make any sense. How is Everton Liverpool for free and because Sheffield basically what they've Fulham. done? Box office games are on when the, the games aren't what supposed to be on. Ah. So basically, the three o'clock games would right. be on box office. But okay. Uh, so uh, just to let you know, um, we're on. A, we might do uh, Champions League predictions on oh. Monday night. Obviously, we've got likes of uh, Chelsea, Man City, uh, Chelsea, uh, uh, Man United, and Liverpool all playing. As Liverpool players, yes, Liverpool. they are. Oh, they're Liverpool Manchester are playing Sevilla. Ajax. Aren't no, yeah, Ajax. Sorry, Ajax. I don't know why I said Sevilla. And Man, like, like some Man City and Liverpool all playing. Yeah, we'll, Bayern Munich as well. We'll do that. Bayern Munich, Atletico Madrid. Wow, that's a big game. Anyway, let's forget that. Uh, but we're, anyway, we've not, yeah. got, we've not got past the Premier League yet. No, but anyway, there you go. That's Premier League predictions week five. Big week for football. Uh, a lot of derbies. Looking, so. uh, yeah, a lot of derbies. Everton. <laughs> Liverpool. What game are you looking forward to the most? Probably Everton, Liverpool, yeah. Yeah, to, to yeah, fact, I'm looking forward to the... Uh, I'm Ever looking forward to Manchester Ever City. City. Man City and Arsenal. Uh, that'd be Arsenal. Game. And there's that... Um, you, know, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, Wolves... Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, Leeds. Wolves, Leeds. Leeds, yeah. Wolves, yeah. Leeds versus I Wolves. That's game, an that. interesting one. It'd be a cracking game, that. Um, mm. Both sides, two very good managers who play very good football. Very attacking sides. And, you know... It's going to be a good game. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and, and bye. bye. Peace.